Monsieur Heitzig, we are so delighted you are able to join us. Madame. Ah, the young knight errant. The chivalrous paladin who rescued beauty from an army of beasts. <laughs> oh, well. Three, my dear, just three beasts. <sighs> Pauline told us of your adventure, Monsieur Heitzig. We are very grateful. Really, uh, it was not. Whatever the numbers you faced, it was a glorious feat of arms in the grand tradition of French chivalry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Charles. Mademoiselle Hall. The name's Pauline. My brother calls me Pauline. Pauline. Here, I, uh, I have something for you. <laughs> oh, you found it. I thought I'd lost it forever. I thought I'd lost you forever. Well, I'm glad to be found. Ah, oh, this must be young, Monsieur Petzik. Charles, this is the Count Plasky of the Foreign Ministry and his secretary, Monsieur Paul Lampin. Gentlemen. Francis in your debt, Monsieur Gazik. Sir? Mademoiselle Hall is an American citizen. Had she been injured in the riot, it would have created a serious diplomatic incident. You see, Charles, you saved your country's honor as well as mine. <laughs> Champagne, my friends. Ah. I think, of course. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, to our gallant young hero. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Monsieur Charles Heitzi. Thank you very much. Pleasure meeting you, Monsieur Heitzig. I bid you good night. You let her get away again. Mon Dieu, you've got to be faster than that. Hush, Francois. Monsieur Heitzig. Pauline asked me to present her excuses. Uh, thank you. Well, it's been a wonderful evening. Uh, please tell Pauline that I said goodbye. Charles, wait! Charles, I have been rude, but there's something I have to do that simply can't wait. A uh, romantic rendezvous, perhaps. Oh, no. Mad fool, nothing like that. Now listen, I have tickets for the theater on Thursday night. You be here at seven. Don't be late. What a great man, that actor, Lemaitre. Then must you speak of